Welcome back to Upfront, everyone. I'm Matt Smith, and today for Adrian Pedersen. Some state lawmakers want to prohibit pet stores from selling dogs and cats. A new bill would ban the sale of dogs and cats in pet stores beginning January 1st, 2020. Stores would be able to feature animals offered for adoption by shelters or rescues. The pet store industry has said this bill could put some retailers out of business if it passes. We're talking more about this bill right now with its lead sponsor, Democratic Representative Lakeisha Myers of Milwaukee. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. Why is this bill needed? I think it's needed because we started the process about 10 years ago or so with the puppy mill uh, ban that we have in Wisconsin, but I think there are loopholes in which pet stores can now sell directly to consumers. There's still the opportunity for puppy mill uh, dogs and cats to come through that pet store operation. Do you think stores are taking advantage of what you call a loophole? I do think that some pet stores are taking advantage of that operation. Uh, when you look at the fines that you're proposing, $10,000 for a first offense, $25,000 for a second or subsequent of offense, mm -hmm. that seems rather steep, is it? I don't think so. I think when you want to make a point that this is something that we will not tolerate, I think you have to put your money where your mouth is. Where are these puppies coming from when you reference puppy mills, in the state or out of state? Usually out of state. We see a lot coming from Iowa, uh, across the border from Iowa, to come into Wisconsin into a lot of our pet stores. Um, stores like Petland in, in Racine and other locally owned stores have publicly said this will put them out of business. I don't think it will put them out of business. I think it's actually an opportunity for them to work directly with the Humane Society and work with uh, verified rescues to have adoptions in their stores. So it will not drive revenue from their stores because you still have to purchase ancillary items for your pet um, in the local pet store. So I think that will also keep them in business. As a pet owner, how would this affect me in the state when I'm looking to purchase a puppy? I think it would provide fidelity in the uh, process for you as a pet owner, making sure that you're getting the best possible pet. You're actually going through a rescue, knowing that this uh, animal has been cared for properly and not, you know, finding out later that you have to go through exorbitant costs or medical expenses for a pet that may be ill. Uh, I've read some folks saying this really doesn't uh, address the problem, this legislation, when you look at the internet these days mm -hmm. and, and puppy mills going that mm -hmm. route. Is that a concern as well? It's a concern for me, I think, but uh, with the folks that I'm working with on this bill, we are also looking at going the next step and working with law enforcement, just as we look at human trafficking for, you know, uh, young men and women that have been trafficked, they shut down Backpage. We can do the same thing with working with local law enforcement to do the same thing to crack down on uh, illegal pets being sold on Craigslist. And does Wisconsin have a larger problem than other states in the Midwest, or are we comparable with the surrounding states? I think we're comparable with uh, surrounding states. I just think there is the opportunity for individuals to cross the border with the animals and go through uh, some of the pet stores. We do have the support of a lot of our larger uh, chain pet stores like Petco and PetSmart. They have embraced the legislation. They are willing to work with us. Is the state on the front end uh, of this issue or, or are we following other states? We are following other states. Uh, this is passed in Maryland as well as California. Uh, a few other states as well have, it, this is kind of like the national trend. We're actually being one of the first few to, to go this route. Would this punish pet stores that are law-abiding right now and, and following the proper process? No, it would not, uh, it would not uh, you know, hurt them in any way. I think, it, again, going with the opportunity to embrace the uh, shelters and the Humane Society, I think this is an opportunity for them to, to grow their market. Is there a way to look at uh, strengthening buying standards, perhaps, for pet stores as opposed to a one-size-fit-all, don't sell? Um, I think with the market as we have it in Wisconsin, we do not have that many independently owned pet stores. So I think that's where the most of the concern is coming from. As I stated, a lot of the big box pet stores have already adopted, uh, you know, this policy where they don't sell uh, directly to consumers. Uh, you know, it kind of goes on a store by store basis. Yeah. but. Many of them have said, sure, we don't have a problem with this. We would embrace having, you know, the rescues come in and do adoption days with us. You're a Democrat in a Republican-controlled legislature. What are the chances this passes? We have strong bipartisan support. I'm working with other representatives to kind of iron out any concerns or kinks that we may have. What concerns are there? Uh, they were looking at the, 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 the business model from the business perspective. Um, 
and that has not just come from Republicans. It's been questioned by some Democrats that, oh, we don't want to lose business. I'm not trying to make you lose business. I'm trying to make sure you grow your market and have the ability to have fidelity with the process. And you're hoping this fall that this gets some action? Absolutely. All right, Representative Lakeisha Myers, thank you thank so you much so for much. your time. Next, a challenge for rural communities recruiting and keeping volunteer firefighters. We'll look at a possible way to help next on Upfront.